The Deputy Director of Action Aid in Nigeria says the organization is committed to eradicating poverty in all its forms in the country. She made this comment during a visit to residents of Gofina community in the FCT in commemoration of this year's International Day for the Eradication of Poverty. Plus TV Manuel Ehijene report is presented from our studio. The theme for this year's event is decent work and social protection, putting dignity in parties for all. And according to the Deputy Director, Action Aid Nigeria, Survivor Dankabo, this theme strikes at the very heart of the mission to transform the lives of millions trapped in the circle of poverty as it relates to the realities faced in Nigeria today. Dan Cabo says Action Aid Nigeria, as part of its mandate to eradicate poverty in the country, has continued to work tirelessly to empower communities, amplify their voices, and advocate for policies that foster in inclusivity and also equity. She says the collective efforts of everyone is needed to accomplish this goal. That poverty, in all its dimensions, robs individuals of their inherent dignity and potentials. It deprives them of the opportunity to access quality education, health care, and meaningful employment. It limits their ability to shape their own destinies and contribute fully to our society. All stakeholders, CSOs, corporate organizations, federal government, state and local government, ministries and, uh, and uh, departments, as well as agencies, must take a stand against poverty. She further shared some crucial statistics to show the level of work to be done. 9% of schools, school age children are not attending schools, with a staggering 94% of these out of uh, school children living in poverty. Furthermore, over 26% of Nigerians living in multidimensional poverty reside in households with a child between the ages of 6 and 15 who is not attending school. Stakeholders and CSOs also prefer solutions to the issue of poverty while calling on government to make a deliberate effort to provide an enabling environment for Nigerians, especially women, to support their aspirations. So my call to the government is to implement its laws, the full implementation of the social, social protection policy in Nigeria cannot be overemphasized. You see people actually sliding deeper and deeper to poverty. Life is more frustrating. It appears there is actually no end to the economic crisis. We are trying to see how we are able to now engage them to be able to identify other needs within the community, whether it's health, it's education, so that at the end of the day, communities have decent work, they are dignified, they are you know, protected and guaranteed from falling into shocks that now disallow them from able to now live a dignified life. Government should set up a program where these people can have access to funds. Government also introduce the programs because we are not just thinking of uh, uh, talking about fertilizers now. This organic manure. If these people are well trained and given more uh, support, they can be able to produce organic fertilizer. The International Day for the Eradication of Poverty is celebrated on the 17th of October every year to draw attention of government to the plight of citizens who have grown on that agony of poverty year in year out. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.